Or there was actually another incident a few years ago where a swastika was carved into the football turf here. Now, parents here say this is unacceptable if true, and they look forward to a full investigation. This is an insidious thing that is in this town. There are two sides to every story. I think the details are still coming. Community members in a small town north of Boston grappling with troubling allegations made against them during Friday Night Lights. Jamal Hunt, an assistant coach for the Roxbury Prep football team, posting on Facebook his team was ridiculed, taunted, and called N-bombs by Georgetown football players, faculty, staff, and spectators. This culminating in an on-field fight, which led to an early ending to the game. That fight caught on camera, but no recording to substantiate the claims made by Hunt. So some in town here are weary of these serious allegations. I think we'll get to the bottom of it. We'll see how all the facts come out. And I know our town doesn't have any tolerance for that kind of behavior. This is not a one-off. But others here are quick to indict the district, saying these problems are persistent. A few years ago, a large swastika was carved into the football field. One woman telling us off camera, her kids have seen racist and anti-Semitic graffiti on the bathroom stalls here. My daughter found a swastika carved in her desk when she sat down, which was not there the day before. Hunt says he's numbing by the racism, while the superintendent here promises an independent investigation. Now, the superintendent here says she's also working with officials over at Roxbury Prep to investigate this. Police are also investigating. We're live in Georgetown this evening. I'm Peter Eliopoulos, WCVB.